Finance people with a passion for technology can definitely become CIOs. Uh, you know, as I told you earlier as well, I have I know people who are from with a CA background and they have become CIOs and they do very well in life in their role. Uh, the reason that they do very well in life is because uh, you know they have a good understanding of business. Number two, they look at technology dispassionately it's not that you know just for my love of technology i'm running with it and they look at things more from a business perspective and obviously being from a finance background there's a they they have a natural you know uh, uh, attention to details kind of a thing and they're obviously good with numbers so with all that they make very good uh, you know cios or cdos however coming to your next question now Let's say you are a chartered accountant or you are a, you know, a whatever finance background and you have a knack to technology and you are doing a little bit of programming or things like that. And can you become the CIO? The answer to that is yes, but there are a few buts to it. Number one, to become a CIO, obviously you are going to manage technology. So obviously a lot of understanding of technology is required. Number two is that, you know, technology is an ocean. There is no end to it. I mean, if you, if you look at five technologies coming from five very, very different technology backgrounds, they are, they are going to talk amongst themselves as if they're talk, you know, talking in five different languages because one person might not understand the technology that the other person comes from. Therefore, there is no, you know, there is no universal language within technology and technology is like a vast ocean. Therefore, instead of, as you said, you know, doing a little bit of coding and all, instead of digging deep into one particular technology, you have to have a broader base across various technologies because in business, you never know which technology you will require to leverage. For example, let's say you are very good in some kind of you know, application. Let's say you come from a CA background and you are very good in ERP, you know, managing the finance domains within ERP, you know, naturally. But then there might be some business specific applications. There might be certain things in uh, IT security or you know, IT applications that might be leveraged better. So therefore you need to have the much broader, you know, broader understanding of technology and you need to have the knack of quickly understanding a technology, what are the benefits of it, how it will benefit your business and fail fast. So as I told you previously, try out 10 new things, fail fast, nine things you will fail, forget it. That one thing that you will not fail, that will be your claim to fame and that will take you far. So that is one thing you know, people with the finance background and, a, and with the knack of technology needs to understand if they want to come and manage technology, they want to become a leader of technology, unless they want to become pure technocrats, where they become, you know, subject matter experts in one particular technology. Okay. And obviously the other thing is understanding business and, and very quickly you have to analyze business and what is, you know, what part of technology is needed for that business because they, you know, today, there's no end, there's no dearth of technology. There are thousands and millions and billions of things that you can do. But obviously resources are limited. So we cannot do those million things. We have to find out what are those five things or 10 things that are most needed for the business. And if we do that, we'll get the maximum benefit for the business and apply those. So that is, you know, that's where the this, this triangle between a finance background love for technology and being a CIO or CDO, you know, that's how it, it works out.